sat work on today. We just had a big low last night. It's Thursday the 28th. Um, first chuck is really helping one of these. Good sized dog, but it's a dog nonetheless. I got all the usual baits. I've got all sorts. I think I've got a bike on the left hand rod. Uh, I've got rag, black, squid, and cuttle. Cut on the right hand rod, rag and black cocktail on the left hand rod. I suspect there's going to be another dog because of the ragworm. But yeah, the tide's dropping out about past two. Hopefully, we find a codling. Let's see what we can do. Very simple tonight, but tonight, today, this four o cully panels, 80 pound rain body, but a 70 pound snud. With 4 0 must add Viking hooks. Chucking two or three good sized rag on and then tipping it off with a pole black on one rod. And the other rod's getting them out a big, like, finger sized piece of cuttlefish. I got some squid with me as well. Um, I thought I'd give cuttle a go because there's a lot of dead cuttle on the beach, or a lot of cuttle spines, if you know what I mean. Another couple of guys are just set up to my left. There's two to my right. But not many people down here, but then again, it is very lumpy. I'll show you that in a minute. Here, it's doing about a two and a half metre swell. Like I said, the tide's dropping out. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I don't normally use rag work to boot me on it. They mess my hands up quite badly these days, but I guess can't be choosers sometimes. I rang up Abbas Brangling at like 8 o'clock this morning and I went, yeah, we've got some. So, oh. Right. That was annoying. Um, that would have been a codling for sure. I bet you come in folded in half. Quite the collar and grab the bait in the middle. I'm to make sure my bait's packed right around the hook. Nice and snug. It's been all very fruitless. I've had a doggy and a little conga. Um, yeah, not as many fish as I thought because the water's like chocolate. They should be like flapping up the beach like flounders. But yeah, nothing. Well, a few bits and bobs. 
very odd. Um, tide's still dropping, drop in till I say about three o'clock. And we shall see. A couple more hours. I think a few little fluttery bites on one rod, so I'm gonna switch that to a um, Portsmouth loop rig with size ones. Chuck out a couple of little baits, see if there's any bream out, bream about that. If it is, we'll go back to the big baits, whatever. Let's have a chuck, see what's there. Let's sort it out. Well, that explains what's been mulling my bait. And those couple of little earrings. Uh, yeah, they're not going to go back in this, sir. So I'm going to save them for conga bait another day up on the island or in the rocks. Something like that. Might put a bait in a minute, in fact. Uh, I've now gone out with my left hand rod. He's got a double squid on a really short rig. I dropped that just behind the breaking waves. A bit of more traditional chisel calling, big squid bait, in close. Colour six O's in it. It's going to do one of two things. It'll catch a fish. It won't catch a fish or it'll get shingles. So that's three. Right, onwards. Wow. Still flogging away, not catching much. Just do pout, a couple of dogs, I've another dog since I've cut the pout. I will say though, I did look at the wrong tide table. It was high uh, low tide, sorry, about two hours ago. Which is, uh, uh, sorry, about an hour ago. Which means it's about con o'clock. About an hour into the flood, they normally come on the feet. So, maybe, maybe, just maybe. I always find the start of the flood was good for them. So a lot of people, that's why it's so busy down there, because it is round. Right, anyway, right, I'm gonna concentrate and we shall see what we can see. All right, two hours remaining in my session. We're gonna have some big old rag sausages. Look like at stingray bait, there's an eight rag there wrapped up. Similar size my finger, nice and tight and snug. Loads of scent coming out. Because as you can see, calm down a bit. The rods still aren't doing a great deal. It's a shame, everything's right. Very strange today. It says it looks like a bit of weed or a bit of weed or a wave, I think. A bit of weed flood that line just now. That's got a double squid on that rod again. Double squid, a pair of six O's and a short snook. Dropped in just behind the white water to see if there's anything in close. The other one's got a single black lug on and I've banged it as far as I can. Let's keep going. Right, one of my baits is a, well, it's a two small lug this time, so a single larger one. I take the Gemini needle, I put one on each side, then whip it up together so it's like a big lug. And I transfer it to a standard straight needle so I can get it on the hook, lovely and straight, and nice and easy. Not like that. Fly. Really went on this headwind. Hello. And there's a bait. Oh, we took that. I go on a single 2 0, big mouth extra, clip behind a 6 ounce breakaway impact, see how far I can hit it. Double, the double square. 